Hey guys, it's Jen, welcome back. And today we have a Target Christmas haul. I'm really excited about the Target line this year, both the Hearth and Hand and the Threshold. I don't normally shop retail, normally I'm a thrifter, but I mentioned in a previous video that this year I have been consigning a ton of decor. And so I've got decoration money that I am ready to spend. So let's head to Target and see what we can pick up. Target has so many things this year that I am enjoying and it's hard to know where to start. So let's take a look over here. I love this beautiful nativity. And just look at all of those pillows. This adorable apartment building <laughs> and some wonderful pillow selection. Guys, this is the pillow that I have been eyeballing for a while now. It's so soft. I absolutely love the color and the knit look of it. They also have these smaller toss pillows on sale for $15. I love the red and the green striped ones. And I know this Letters to Santa box is a repeat from last year. It's definitely a favorite among many people, I think. I love these gold reindeer. These are cute. I haven't seen these before. I love these cement pot trees. I think they would look really cute on a mantle or a front entry or even in your kitchen. They have the smaller one too, but this one's in a galvanized. $7.99. They do have the larger galvanized also. Okay, guys, Target had some really great items. Normally when I go in a store, and this is part of the reason why I'm a thrifter, I don't know what I like. I like all the things, so it's really hard for me to just settle in on one style. That's why I love thrifting usually, because I don't have to commit to high prices, but for some reason this year, everything that I saw at Target, I knew exactly which thing I needed to have. So I did pretty good. So let's take a look at what we picked up. Now this year I'm kind of leaning towards a more cozy look. And so these beautiful placemats. Now these are from the Hearth and Hand line but they're not specifically Christmas. I love them though because they're neutral. And so I have a very small table. I'm thinking I may not put my leaf in. I know you guys saw the table with a leaf in for Halloween. I had the huge tablescape and I really liked that, but it was a little bit overwhelming. So I think I'm gonna pare it down and, and keep it kind of small and neutral on the table. But because my table is so small, table runners don't seem to work for me. They're a little too big. So I'm thinking I may use this in the center of the table just as a base. Um, that is neutral and can go throughout the seasons. Okay, so while we're talking about the hearth and hand line, let's talk about these pot holders. I love the look of these with the red pinstripe, but then they also have this really pretty traditional pattern on the other, um, the other one. These were $8.99, and I think this is gonna pair well with some of the items I have from previous years that are a little bit more rustic, um, but also help me transition into more of a traditional, maybe contemporary look. So I really like these. Now also, I grabbed this for $3.99. This is the recipe towel. I know a lot of you guys have seen these in the past. This one is the sugar cookies for $3.99, and I am so excited to have grabbed one of these because last year, I wanted to grab the one from last year. I I don't even remember what recipe was on it last year, but they were sold out at my Target. And when I went online, I couldn't get it shipped fast enough to be able to use it for the Christmas season. So grab this early this year because you guys, things go off the shelf so fast. So if you see anything today that you like, head to the store. There may be some items here that already are out of stock. So keep an eye on the stores, go weekly. If there's something you're looking for, they may restock it if it sells out quickly. Okay, now this one's from Threshold, and I really loved the pattern here of this kitchen towel. Actually, I want to say this might actually be a bath towel. 
Um, but I just thought the scene was so cute with the trees and the kids playing on the ice rink. I just love that sort of retro style vintage look and so I thought that would pair well in my kitchen with a lot of these neutral items. The background color of the towel is not white, it's actually like an off-white or a cream so this is like a nice cozy looking um, hand towel that we can use for this season. And then, now this is not specifically Christmas, I picked this up on clearance, um, it was $4.50 um, but the neutral color and the texture on this I thought would go very well with a lot of the items that I did pick up this year. So this is a, I have no idea what the scent is because it was on clearance, but it was originally $15. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I love that it's a double wick. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but every time I buy single wicks in this size, they just burrow. The outside edge doesn't seem to burn. And I'm really probably going to want to use this for future, you know, after the candle burns down. So this one I thought was a really great find. Now, since we're talking about clearance, which I did a really good job this year, I think, on finding items that I enjoy and can use throughout the year on clearance. But I picked up this table lamp. I have been wanting to use a little lamp in my kitchen for a while now. But the problem is that most of the ones that I like are like a white ceramic and they they kind of disappear on my white um, granite. So when I saw this one, I thought this was great. And this one was only $8.50. Um, but this is just a cute little lamp that I think I'm going to put in my kitchen this year. So now I did pick up some items from the dollar spot. I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place here. But when I saw these dark wood um, trees, I thought these were really pretty. And the thing about it at my Target is that um, I only found this one. It was $5 which um, I thought that was a great price, but I was kind of bummed out because I was hoping for two. And then about three or four days later, I went back and I found this little one. I don't know if this is maybe like a leftover from last year, but I have not been able to find this one anywhere else, this little one. So just to give you a size comparison, it is quite a bit smaller. It would be cute if I could find one more of these. Um, so I'll be on the lookout, but for $5, and I, I can't remember if this is one or $3, um, item, but it was definitely in the dollar spot or the what do they call it the bullseye playground They changed the name of it, but I still call it the dollar spot <laughs> Okay, let's move on to cozies so I picked up this pillow I mentioned in a previous video that I had been eyeballing a pillow at Target and oh my goodness guys this thing is like oh, It just feels like a cloud. I love it um, knit with the Christmas tree now. I'm thinking that after Christmas when the actual Christmas items come down, and I'm usually quick on that. I usually take my Christmas stuff down pretty quick. We'll see what happens this year, but in the past I've taken the tree down on December 26th. I don't know if that's a big no-no, but I mean, it's my house, right? I can do whatever I want. But um, I'm thinking that this would pair well with a lot of the items that I have that I can keep going for the winter season if I just flip this around because the back is plain. So I think this will get a full season use, not just for Christmas, but also for winter. And I think this one, um, this one was $20. So not a bad price. I'll be honest with you. I think this one was one of the better prices. All right. So let's talk about stockings because I've been on the lookout this year for stockings and I actually have purchased and returned a few of them already, but I think I'm settled on the ones that I like. We have been using the same stocking since 1996 when we got married and I love them. We got them as a gift and they're so cute, but I'm kind of ready to change the look and I picked up two cream color knit stockings. You guys, this stocking, um, I know this one is a, a Target item, but it definitely looks like the Pottery Barn one and um, I think it's pretty good dupe for it. The Pottery Barn one is pretty expensive. This one was only $14.99 so um, and it does have the lining inside. I know if you're gonna use it for like actual gifts you, you would want that so that nothing pokes through but um, I grabbed this one and then also because I want to go with this kind of green and neutral color scheme I grabbed this one. Now the first one here this is the um, let's see this I want to say it's Hearth and Hand. Yeah this one's Hearth and Hand but this one is Threshold and I love this one. I love the little baubles on it and the texture of it is really pretty and it's just the right green. So I thought these would pair pretty well together. I have two of the greens and two of the creams and I thought this would look really pretty on my mantle and um, it would bring in like a little bit more texture but also keeping that kind of neutral and cozy tone. So really looking forward to seeing how these go up on the mantle and what they look like. Now along with the cozy stockings and cozy pillow, I grabbed this throw 
I love this throw. There was a lot of throws at Target that I really didn't like this year, um, but I love the pattern on this. It's got this like beautiful plaid neutral green, but this was my favorite part. I love the fringes on them, and the price wasn't bad. This one was um, from Hearth and Hand. It was $19.99 really love the coloring on this and I think this is going to go very well with the look I'm going for this year. So now we're moving into more like the decor items and when I saw these, I, I should have grabbed these last year because I wanted these little gold deer, reindeer for a while. Um, I saw them last year, I didn't get them. They were 15 last year, they're 20 this year. So what a bummer, I only get one. They do have the standing one as well. I don't know, I may go back and pick that one up. But I really just like a little bit of this kind of glam gold coloring just for a pop, maybe on my table. i um, not exactly sure if I'll use this on the uh, corner shelf or on my dining table, but either way I thought this one was really pretty. Now, I know a lot of people have gone crazy for these little houses but check these out they're so cute um they were three dollars each at the dollar spot but the top has this wood look um painted on i think it's painted on these are ceramic um they don't light up or anything like that but they're very neutral and they're really um they're cute because they've got clean contemporary lines they could go farmhouse or modern so i got um, a couple of these i got the the one that is um like shorter and a little bit wider and then I grabbed two of the taller ones on one of the trips that I went. And then today when I went back, I actually grabbed another set, one um, of the short wider ones and two of the bigger ones, the taller ones. So um, I've got six total and I can't wait to see where I'm gonna put them. I have no idea where they're gonna go, but I really like them. And um, this, now check this out. I got um, some candles and I missed out I wasn't looking at Target for fall decor. I had so much Halloween, so much fall, I really didn't even go in store or online. And um, when I saw a couple of my favorite YouTubers with the amber glass candles, I was really bummed out because when I went to the store to get one, they were sold out. But I was not going to miss out this year on Christmas. So I grabbed this. Look at that beautiful coloring on the glass. So pretty, so elegant. This is the kind of a jar that when the candle burns down, you can use this um, on your side table, put your rings in. You can use this for sponges in your kitchen. So pretty. So I grabbed just one of these. Cypress and pine. Oh, smells so good. $6.99. Um, beautiful candle. So I'm really excited about this one. I may go back and pick up the big one. I think the big one is like 35 or something like that, which that's pretty steep, but if this one burns as well as I think it's going to because it smells so good, I may end up going back to grab that. I have some items to return, so maybe I'll just use the money that I get for the returns for that. Now these I want to say were in the dollar spot. Nope, I'm lying to you. <laughs> okay, now these were from the threshold line. These smell just like that other one that I just showed you. This one is Holiday Balsam. A little bit more of a glam look, but still green. Very pretty, very classic. Cypress, no, Holiday Balsam is the um, smell. These I, these, I don't know how much they were actually because the price is no longer, I don't see the price. Um, I probably should put on my glasses, uh, but I cannot see the price. So let's put on some glasses. Okay, yep, yeah, Holiday, oh, these are Soy Blend, so that's kind of nice. Um, no price. <laughs> well, they weren't free, I promise you that. Anyway, I grabbed two of these because I thought they were really kind of classic and timeless and very pretty, and these would pair well with a lot of the items that I have. Now, this is not Christmas, and I will tell you, I got a good deal on it, but I have no idea why this was on clearance because there were two others of these in package right next to this one for regular price. But I grabbed this set of three um, Threshold black metal candle holders, and normally they retail for $25. Uh, I got mine for 12 and a quarter. So, you know, I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe because they were, it says repackage on there, but it looks like they were still in the original packaging. So I don't know, but I was glad that I grabbed these because I've been looking for some more black candle holders for a while. And I really have been eyeballing these, but I didn't really want to spend 25. So got these at a really good deal. Now I also picked up some wrap, some Christmas wrapping, tissue paper and such. Uh, these were in the dollar spot and I love the block print of the trees. 
and they do have the plain solid, uh, you know, the green and the white as well. These were a dollar each, so I grabbed two of these, and I also grabbed two bags. These are small bags. They were a dollar for two of them. One of them says Seasons Greetings, and then the other one has just like that same block print of trees on them so i think these are really pretty i would love to go pick up some black velvet ribbon um or e even maybe like a cream color velvet ribbon um to wrap my gifts this year and i think that would pair really well with this green and white and neutral scheme so love these so these little cypress trees i thought were so cute they were 9.99 for the set of three of them but I like that they are all different sizes. I think these would be cute on a tiered tray. I don't have a tiered tray anymore, but I, I'm thinking about getting one. Um, but these are from Hearth and Hand, $9.99. They have the large, medium, and small. And I have no idea where I'm gonna put these, but I thought they would pair very well with a lot of the items that I picked up. And also at the dollar spot, this was $5. And I just really liked, it looks like mango wood. I don't know if it is, but it definitely has that warm coloring to it. So I thought this would be a really pretty addition in my kitchen um, to kind of contrast with all of the white that I've got going on. Now for my Christmas tree this year, or maybe for my mantle, I'm not sure which, I bought three of these. Um, these are the neutral beaded garlands. They were $12.99, but they are pretty long. And you know what's funny is I actually got the dark colored ones first and then I returned them and I got these and then I saw this Christmas tree and I was like ah, oh, I want the dark ones again so I returned them and I got the dark ones and of course as you can tell I have returned them again to pick these neutral ones up because I really think the neutral is going to look nice with all of the neutral um, cozy pillows and throws and things that I have so I may change my mind again I don't know I mean I got plenty of time before Christmas but for right now I'm going to stick with these neutral ones I really like these and the last item I want to show you guys is this also from the dollar spot. It's just a black sign um, with the gold trim and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. This was not from the dollar spot. This is a wonder shop item, but it was $5. It's pretty substantial. I think this is going to end up on my front porch. I'm going to go with um, a black and green and gold look out there and see if I can find maybe um, a really pretty black and white um, entry uh, mat like um, doormat and something on top that's maybe green that would contrast with that so I think this will look good on my front porch I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing out there but I know it'll come together we've got plenty of time and you guys that's the thing about going early it's October yeah um, Halloween is Monday as I'm filming this today is October 27th so there's a lot of time still, but if you wait too long, a lot of the items that you're hoping for are not going to be available in store anymore. I actually ordered something from McGee & Co. in the beginning of October, and it is. I still keep getting emails that saying, we're working on it, we're working on it. I hope it's going to get here because it's one of my favorite items that I purchased, and I got it at a pretty good price, so hopefully it'll get here soon. But anyway, that is what we are doing this year for the Christmas season. I don't know if you guys have begun your shopping yet, but... If you are looking for more inspiration, definitely hit that notification bell and subscribe because this is it. We've started Christmas, guys. It's on. So I will see you in the next one. Happy hunting for your Christmas decor and stay well, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.